Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat mobile character review. Today we are taking a closer look at Flaming Fist's Liu Kang, one of the oldest cards in the game and we will go through all his basic specials and of course his X-Ray. Flaming Fist Liu Kang is part of the martial artist class and his passive is called Flaming Fists. On Tagin, Liu Kang receives a speed increase, plus 100% basic attack damage and 25% critical hit chance for 5 seconds. Flaming Fist Liu Kang started his career in the game already during the old MKX mobile days and was one of the very first challenge cards to appear. He was maxed out with level 50 and fusion 7 and also his passive hasn't changed ever since. In the old store he was available for 345 souls and of course he is part of the challenge pack and in the past there have been several other packs where you can obtain him too and of course he also drops as a potential reward in faction wars, in quest mode, in towers and so on and so forth. In the new store he is available for 450 souls and after the level cap was raised with update 1.18 he is now maxed out with level 60 and fusion X. Liu Kang's gear piece is the red headband and it gives you 45% recovery boost, 35% unblockable chance on basic attacks which is for Liu Kang characters only and 20% power generation boost. In terms of his feats of strength he will have to perform 1500 special 2 attacks to unlock his rune. For his victory stances he has to win 750 matches in Faction Wars. For his taunts he has to knock out 500 Quan Chi enemies. For his icons he has to win 500 matches in Battle Mode. For his backgrounds he has to perform 250 X-Ray slash Fatal Blow attacks. And for his titles he has to perform 2000 Special 1 attacks. And now we are going to take a closer look at the victory stances one by one, starting with victory. Next we have warming up. The third one would be classic MK victory. And exclusive for Flaming Fist's Liu Kang only, Assault. And on your victory screen, it will look like this. Now I'm going to show you all of his backgrounds. Next we have the icons. And finally the titles. Flaming Fist Liu Kang has two kinds of combo enders. The first one consists of two kicks and a final punch, pushing the opponent slightly back which makes it ideal for follow-up attacks. The second one looks very similar, it just consists of three kicks instead of the final punch at the end. Just as his other combo ender, it merely pushes the opponent back a little.
His special one attack is called Bicycle Flurry and it has merely just a damage effect tied to it. Besides being one of his most iconic moves, this one is also capable of knocking out your opponent. His special 2 attack is called Windmill Punch and it has a fire debuff tied to it. The damage output may not be the greatest, but at least this attack is also capable of knocking out your opponents. His X-Ray is called For the Shaolin and it has a fire debuff tied to it just as his special 2. This X-Ray is identical with all variations of Liu Kang that we have in the game so far. And even though this might be looking a little bit basic, it still looks very very painful for the opponent. When it comes to his passive, it's of course mainly about the basic attacks. Liu Kang turns into one of those really fast characters, even faster than normal because he already has incredible speed, but with this tag in, he becomes almost immortal. So now it's time to recommend some gear again and my first choice for Liu Kang would be the Rathhammer. One bar of starting power plus 20% attack boost, which is always great, especially when you combine that with his tag in. That always works against the opponents and you either can get fast up to a special 2 attack or you just unleash the bicycle kick after. My second choice would be Moloch's Ball and Chain, because it gives him a block break ability on both special attacks and given that he has so many mini hits, it's almost guaranteed that Liu Kang will break that block. My third choice would be Spectre's Burning Vengeance, simply because I find it very funny that Liu Kang would set his opponent on fire when they try to attack him while he is blocking. And since he surrounds himself already with so many fire debuffs, I just find it very suitable to give him this armor too. Another interesting gear piece for Flaming Fist's Liu Kang due to his passive would be the Dragon Teeth. Combined with his passive, which already gives him that critical hit chance boost, you would on top have this damage boost on critical hits with the Dragon Teeth. So that's just a perfect fit for this guy. But the winner in my book of course has to be his red headband, giving him the block breaker on basic attacks on top power generation. Granted I never cared that much for the recovery boost, but now with this new gear piece from the Shirai Ryu Tower, the champion's bracers, with this extreme recovery boost that would already add extra to that gear piece as well, so that might turn into something more useful if you combine those two, but the main thing is the block break and the power generation, Liu Kang doesn't really need that much more. When it comes to my favorite loadout, I would go for Moloch's Ball and Chain, Spectre's Burning Vengeance and the Red Headband. This way Liu Kang will have unblockable chance on basics and on special attacks. He can set opponents on fire when blocking, has extra power generation boost, has a chance for free special 2s and lethal blows. What do you want more from this character? So then let's get into the character recommendations and my character choice number one would be Shaolin Kung Jin. He adds a bar of power to all martial artist characters, which is always useful and if you play him together with Shaolin Kung Jin, who is by the way one of the weakest cards, and play him then in best uh, case with another gold card that is not that OP, then you would also not face that extremely hard opponents. My second choice goes to Warlock Quan Chi, simply because he can reanimate Liu Kang once he is knocked out for the first time, so he would come back with 25% of his health to maybe wreak some more havoc before he finally leaves the match. 
Choice number three goes to Ninjutsu Scorpion, who adds 30% attack bonus for all his martial artist teammates, which of course then includes Liu Kang, so he will deal even more damage and then once again keep in mind his passive plus maybe the Wrath Hammer for example, you would deal so much damage that you maybe directly take out the first character that is on the field up against you. For some extra little health, I would add Cryomancer Sub-Zero, who once again adds 30% extra health for martial artist teammates. And the trophy for most useful character goes once again to Health Spawn Scorpion, adding 1.5 bars of starting power already at the beginning of the match. Combine that with the Wrath Hammer, or even better, Kwai Liang Scepter, and you're almost at an X-Ray from the get-go. Flaming Fist Liu Kang is without a doubt one of the fastest characters we have in the game, and even though his stats are not the greatest, Given that he is such an old card, it's still quite incredible what this card can pull off against even much stronger opponents, simply because he has the fortune of speed on his side. A little negative, I find, is the fact that every time when you execute a successful special attack and the opponent will not be knocked out from that one, you will give the opponent so much power in the process that they basically always can answer with a special attack themselves after you're done with it. But often I found this constant back and forth between the special attacks that you are executing and then the opponent answers with his own, just so that you can go back to very fast basics and launching the next special attack. It has its very own charm to it. Making Flaming Fist Liu Kang one of the characters that is incredibly fun to play as a result of that. His slow stats might put some players off a little, but if you are using some gear and maybe some characters that help him a bit, that shouldn't be that much of an issue. So then let's get into the pros and cons, and my first pro, of course, would be the super fast attacks. And by that I'm not only thinking about his fast basic attacks, but also the special attacks. And even though they're technically just taken as long or short as other characters' special attacks, it just feels so much faster given all the little mini hits that Flaming Fist Liu Kang applies on his opponents. My second pro would be the fire debuffs coming from the special 2, the X-Ray, and of course, if you will, you can also add characters like Tigra Fury Goro, which would give him the ability to set the opponents on fire just by tagging in. Same would go, by the way, for the Hellfire Blade from the Tower of Horror event. Spectre's Burning Vengeance I already mentioned. There are so many cool ways in this game where you can make good use of the fire debuff. My third pro is like a visual thing, I think that the special attacks simply just look great. Doesn't matter if it's the bicycle kick or the windmill punch, both of them are just gorgeous to look at and they absolutely deserve to be on the pro side. As far as negatives go, I would probably say the duration of his passive isn't all that long. Which means if you play this character just because of his passive, then you have to rely on the few seconds of the tag-in, kind of like Inferno Scorpion, but if that doesn't bother you, you will have a lot of fun with that. But of course, there are characters who have a useful passive throughout all matches, and as long as they're active or tagged out, which is not the case for Liu Kang, so that's a little bit of a negative here, but not a very big one. My second con, and that is something that I already mentioned throughout the review, are the low stats. But then again, keep in mind, this is a very old card. He was one of the first ones in the game, long before there was even something like diamond cards in the game at all. So of course, if you put him up against new cards, he may not shine as greatly as he did back then as he was released. But if you're just, for example, fighting a team, consisting of 
nauseous reptile and cryomancer sub-zero you will notice how amazing flaming fist's Liu Kang will work against those characters my third and final con is the fact that his special attacks give the other characters power by executing them meaning that all these little mini hits will just fill up their power bar which then in return can forgive me that pun backfire well then let's get to a final rating and I would give Flaming Fist Liu Kang a solid 8 out of 10. He's a great character, he's a great challenge card, he's amazing as a gold card, he is fun to play, his special attacks look good. Of course he has some little flaws, but that's overall not really that much of an issue and you absolutely will not regret having this card in your collection. Well, yeah, then I would say we are done here today. That was Flaming Fist Liu Kang in a nutshell for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this review. And of course, I will be back very soon with more Mortal Kombat Mobile content. So hit the subscribe button to not miss out on that. In the meantime, you guys stay safe and healthy. See you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just $1 a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over and out for today.